so it's about zero degrees there's some fog around i don't think there's many people down the beach so let's go out see what we can find be back to you in a little while cheers I've just found this erratic and there's a definite layer going round it. This looks like an ammonite, but most of this stuff looks crushed. But we're gonna crack that. Oh, I think we've got some. We've actually cracked it along the ammonite. So I'm expecting something here. Quite nice actually. Wow, that's a busy piece. But it did break nice. It looks a lot of calcite in there. Um, I think I'll give that a wash off in the sea. So interesting the amount of shells preserved in that. Check our other piece out. Got calcite. Got this ammonite keel here. Anyone watching this, don't reenact what I'm doing being this close to the cliff, but there's such a beautiful illustration here of the compression of this clay you can see all these layers which I presume are just where sediment has settled in some sort of body of water over long periods of time but you can see how it's been pushed up by I'm guessing glaciers so I've just bumped into John hi John hello <laughs> how's it going yeah good thank you so, um, have you ever been down this beach before fossil hunting? Uh, just once. Just once? Yes. Yeah. Right. But you found a few things here today? Yeah, a few bits and bobs. Cool. Enough, a few things I've never found before, but I don't think uh, that special. Right. Um, found this guy. You can maybe tell me what it is. Oh, that's actually a sponge by the look of it. Fossilised in chalk. I found my first... Uh, Echinoid. Echinoid, that's nice, isn't it? I only had, I've got a fragment of a shell at home, but I've never found uh, so this was that's a really nice today. Yeah, it's not that well preserved, but. Well, if that's your first echinoid, that's quite a decent <laughs> find. It was isn't quite it? buried as well, so I was quite chuffed with that. Uh, oh, and I found my first piece of, uh, of bone as well. Wow, that looks quite well preserved. Maybe that's actually part of the actual joint of the bone. I'm not entirely sure myself. That's definitely fossilised bone though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was quite chuffed with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I found a few other bits of bone. I was just telling John about a piece of fossilised bone that I've uh, picked up somewhere over here. We were just walking across to try and find it and uh, I've just spotted a piece of mammoth teeth sticking out of the sand. Have you ever seen any pieces like that, John? No, never. So that's no. what you're looking for, right? Um, it's probably only a plate. <laughs> Let's have a look. Hey, what have we got? Oh, it's just a plate, but any piece of mammoth teeth. Wow. That. Let's give it a rinse off. I love how it looks like wood and that. Mm. That's going to be off a real large teeth. So what do you make of that? It's 
what we're looking for, isn't it? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have spotted that in the sand. <laughs> No. I went out, I only just saw it out of the corner of my eye, yeah, I think, yeah. but that's off a gigantic tooth, that one. Yeah, it's really nice. I love it when you get the, the top section on, on the teeth. Yeah, where well. you can see the actual surface. Is it, surface this, is it of this, this way up? Is that the orientation or is it? I believe so. Hmm. Or maybe, I don't know. I think so. Oh, it's a job yeah. to tell sometimes when they're worn like that. Really nice colours. Yeah. Perfect. Piece of mammoth teeth. Right. That's amazing. Looks like we've got a nice Jurassic Gryphia here. That's a good find. Hey everyone, so I just picked up this stone and uh, it's full of like crystal inside. Is this actually an agate or something? There's crystal shown on the outside and it's just completely filled. I must admit, I haven't seen any rocks like this that are just flint slightly on the outside and then the whole thing is crystalline. Let me know in the comments. So, I have literally just found the Pebble Hunter's Holy Grail. Now, I mean, is it really the Holy Grail or is this just media hype? She found this piece here yesterday um, and then was just Googling around last night. A new hobby, finding the Pebble Hunter's Holy Grail. I'm tempted to break it and to put it into pieces and take a smaller piece. It's looking like this natural fracture is going to break. It's a little bit resilient. I think that it's going to break nicely actually. People are going to go crazy if the Guardian was down here seeing me break open the Pebble Hunter's Holy Grail. That's a nice piece, isn't it? It's nearly uh, blues. Like a blue type of... I don't want to get hooked on collecting rom porphyry, but I think that's what's going to happen. What the hell is that blue stuff in there? Hey everyone, welcome in. Well, we have got a killer of a devil's toenail on the beach. I don't know what that is. Look at this. Possibly one of the biggest ones of these I've found. Is that an, possibly an oyster or something actually, or not? It's in flint, so it's Cretaceous. Well, this is a real nice day today.
there's not much difference between low and high tide but uh, the tide is now going out so we'll walk along the tide line this is um, this has got to move some stones around right well, look at that cloud something a little different down here don't worry it's not live but it's a tail fin from a uh, some sort of bomb these do turn up from time to time down here I think uh, these were fired above the cliff either in training or something yeah tail fin Yes! <laughs> oh man, how long? I've been coming down there two months. You know what I've found? I think like a baby mammoth tooth. Right, let's explain. I'm going to explain how this happened first. Firstly, I saw something here which was ribbed and it's actually a piece of an ammonite keel in a brown stone. Ammonite keel. Oh, I can't believe what, I can't believe what I've just seen. It's near enough got the surface of the teeth on it. Right, so I found that just stood here, looked around, and then saw this. And what? <laughs> yes! Two months! This has taken two flipping months. It's a nice one. Look at that. Let's, let's have a look at it. So I reckon that that is actually been split in half in antiquity because this was obviously the centre of the tooth would be where my fingers are. I mean that could have even been broke before this became fossilised. But what I like is that you can actually see the surface of the plates are intact. So this is actually possibly the end of the tooth because this is coming round to a point that is a unique piece. The sea is extremely rough. So this is teeth time. You can see it's covered in pyrite. It's come out of the craggy deposit I guess. But yeah, mammoth, tooth, surface showing. Beautiful cross section into the centre of the tooth and the root there. Oh yeah. 